good top of the morning. Um, I hope you're all well. It's been, um, yeah. Sorry guys, it has been a long hot minute um, since the last walk and talk um, session. Um, walk and talk or Julie talks. I kind of almost forgot where I am at. Uh, and <laughs> Not, not intentional, believe you me, but um, it's been, um, yeah, uh, about a week. Hi, good morning. Um, yeah, it's been about a week and I've not been walking. <gasps> but to say that, um, I have been filling my time with um, so many other activities and um, obviously on my other pages, my Instagram page in particular, Fisher Julie E. Gordon, uh, on my Instagram you'll have seen that I've just been literally posting videos of the events that I've been performing at and it's been an absolute whirlwind <laughs> not gonna lie it has it has really um, it's just it's just been a I don't even know how to explain it but I've had a lot of fun so I just thought I'd come on get my walk back <laughs> um, how is everyone doing and um, how you all bearing up as well because so many things that have been going on in the news I've been catching up with um, all the, the latest news and events and um, I want to know what your thoughts are on that I just want to kind of say to you or um, to kind of just keep your spirit up keep yourselves prayed up lie it's the times that we're in I'm gonna make it clear um, that you know my faith my walk in grace with the Most High is ever more serious than ever and I'm telling you this because far too often there's so many of us who um, bear witness to the truth and we just got to speak it we got to speak our truth in every way possible and that is why I do these talks as well because I'm I've just been inspired by some great speakers I've been encouraged you know I've been encouraged by the Spirit of the Most High, the Holy Spirit of the Most High, I've been encouraged to keep on pressing on, to keep on moving, you know, and to not allow this whole um, fear, scaremongering um, thing to get in the way, because that's what the devil's about. And if you are feeling fearful um, and you're coming into this kind of uncertainty, uncertainty, anxiety, and things that you know just cause you to, you know, feel feel super low. You need to go to the Word and find that God can actually guide you through it. Believe you me, it is true, and it is, and I'm speaking the truth. Because there are times when I'm, <laughs> we all go through it, we go through some major frustrations and, you know, we're quick to blame. Oh, well, God wouldn't let us, God wouldn't put us through this. He is strengthening, strengthening us through everything that we're going through. This is him saying, you've asked for strength, which is what I've asked for, and you've asked for courage, all those things. And he's not, good morning. <laughs> um, he's not 
going to turn around and just make it easy and then open up all these doors. He's going to test you. And that's what, you know, making sure that you're versed up and that don't just think, oh, I'll pray. You know, pray from your heart. Pray from every area of your body, every orifice of your soul. Just do it, man, and believe. Yeah, some of us, you know, are going through um, changes and, you know, I'm putting my trust in him through Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. Put my trust. It's getting me up every day, you know, and there are times when I just feel like, oh man, you know, I feel like I'm backsliding and, but trust me, this is who I am. And yeah, I just needed to share that with you. And I'm going to, you know, because I'm, you know, I'm reading my Bible every day and, and it's helping helping me it's not it's not actually giving me what I need or want but I know it's shaping me for what's to come and we're going through guys we are in some treacherous times and we've got to be prepared we've got to carry you know we're, we've got to be prepared we've got to wear the body of um, Christ we've got to wear that armor to protect us yeah definitely big time so, there you have it, and um, I'm just forever grateful. Thank you, Lord. All right, so, um, in other news, not moving away from what's um, happening in the world, as we all know, um, the um, concerns of Taliban um, taking over in Afghanistan, um I am not I'm not here to you know I'm no I'm no anchor you know I'm no political diplomat um and I feel like you know a lot of people jumping on the bandwagon and saying this there's a lot again there's a lot of scaremongering fearmongering things like that and I I honestly at this present moment in time cannot have an opinion um about um a country's um, future and um, this is just me I think every country in the world has a right to um, to their laws and their rules and that's, that's just a cultural thing you know that's just that's just a cultural thing and then as a world community you know we should help and support each other in you know times of need I'm just putting it that simple but don't trouble trouble if, if because trouble will follow you so my mum would say no, no trouble trouble anyway <sighs> might not make any sense but I as I mentioned back there yeah it's been a week of creativity. It's been a week of sharing my voice with you all here in Dubai. Those who've been to the gigs that I've been performing at. Ooh. <laughs> um, so where do I start? So, um, right, so today we're on I don't even know what day it is. I forgot what day it is. On Thursday or Friday? Thursday was yesterday. Friday today, yes. So it's Friday today. So I'll start off from the top of the week. So Monday, um, I was basically getting myself prepared for um, a gig that 
I'd been asked to perform at in um, Alcoz and um, that was at the cave people and oh, I just got to I just got to put it out there that um, I had such an amazing time um, and I, I just like I say I just thank the most high for allowing me to share my gift um, in an environment that I've never been in before um, certainly it's certainly the first time that I'd, I've actually performed to a group of people you know just three songs but it was it wasn't a jam <laughs> that I've been doing a lot of um, open mic jams it was an actual gig and it felt really good I felt so at peace and I felt comfortable and I felt like that um, you know you're appreciated for the skill that you're bringing in and as well as me doing that it's just given you know it's opened up another opened up other doors meeting new people and celebrating again when you're out here sometimes it is a bit of a challenge to find friendship groups you know people who got your back or are supporting you and I am absolutely grateful and thankful in every way for the little small group of friends that have just been an absolute little anchor of support you know they're rocking up so those are my sisters um, from Trinidad the US the UK um, <clears throat> even Portugal uh, my Portuguese sister you know and they're always you know we have a little group and we we support each other so it's it's really mm, man, special so thank you Lady Star um, for your support and coming down, rocking out and everything. And they do it all the time, wherever I am they're there. So that's nice. And um, so like going back to Cave, the lady who is responsible for the um, vegan life, um, Nana, she is um, from Ghana and she's just this Oh man, I don't even know how to describe Nana. All I could see was this. <laughs> she's like a ball of fire. She's a she's just got this incredibly infectious smile. Like when you just with her or you're in her company. She, she's very, very special. She's a special lady. So she um, I've only actually just met her, like, uh, the, the night I performed, it was the first time we actually came in contact with each other. We'd obviously been, you know, text messaging and what's happening and all that jazz. But when we actually met physically face to face, there's no letting up. Now, for those who know me, you must know that when I don't care. Uh, <laughs> I'm very, I'm such an emotional ball of, <laughs> I'm just emotional in every way, but um, there's no letting on, if I'm going to, if I'm going to kiss you, I'm going to kiss you, I don't care, but I am conscious of how that may appear, because not everybody's that way inclined, so uh, forgive me for being super tactile, but um, I just can't help myself, it's just who I am. I am working on it. Not that I need to say, okay, I'm going to be a bit, bit more reserved or anything like that. I'm just working on how some of some people you just, they just need to need to be a little bit more conservative. And I understand, but we're human. It's just the way we, just the way we go. So anyway, yeah. So she's just an amazing ball of energy and. Um, and she put on the event and if you go to her site, The Ghana Life, um, she's got a collection of recipes, well not recipes, a collection of cuisines. 
Now, I will admit, I, I'm not a vegan. Uh, you know, I'm not vegan. I don't, you know, I do eat meat, but I actually eat more fish, um, scaled fish at that matter. I am not into shellfish. <laughs> um, and I've got to say, the food that she, by just by design, by the thought that's gone into the food that she creates, um, is is just totally out of this world. So I would suggest that you um, go and check her out, Be Ganna Life, um, and she does. For those who are here in Dubai, she does deliver throughout Dubai. So it would be great to get and just indulge you know, treat self. Um, so thank you so much, Nana, for just being a really awesome spirit. Yeah. I feel like I'm chopping and changing because I'm just coming back to walking and talking. And um, I've just, yeah. So I've, I feel like I've missed a lot. So I've just, I've just literally, come out and go Rah! so I'm um, yeah feeling sometimes I actually feel as though um, what is the next next stage for m my, this journey that I'm on it's it's certainly going to be very much it's more of a spiritual journey that I'm you know gearing towards and I'm putting um, God at the center of it. So he's going to basically be the one to guide. And don't forget, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I'll just sit on my morals and go, yeah, I'll wait for, no, I will be working towards making sure that um, my ventures and anything that I do put my heart into, um, I pray before and, and I know that with his guidance, but um, it's, it will be that type of facilitation, if that makes any sense. Um, yeah, so going back to um, the fact that everything for this week especially has been, uh, it's just been very creative. It's been musical. It's been, you know, there have been times when I felt like a little bit poorly, but nothing in the, you know, just think it's the matter of, you got things that are crammed in one week. <laughs> I don't know if you know, I don't know if you've seen that, but this is, his girls are, um, <laughs> it's, it's about six in the morning now, and it's busy. Um, I got up a little bit late, had a little bit of line. They're just on their um, quad bike, electric quad bike. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know if I've made any sense today. I really don't, but I'm back. <laughs> I am back. Mm. Definitely back and happy to be out walking again. I would love to get to know you and your thoughts. And as I mentioned in previous videos that I am, um, you know, this is a little bit of a disorganized Judy talks, whatever goes, whatever said. And I think, nah, that's, uh, gotta, gotta keep things in the context to what, you know, um, I feel that my audience will appreciate. So um, I am going to be sharing with you from each time, I'll be sharing a prayer first of all, and then I'll be going into the word and then I'll be giving a tip. Um, because like I say, in with life and how we drive forward, you know, this whole, Myself included, and Lord forgive me, myself, we are living in this 
like kind of narcissistic um, world where it's all about the algorithms, it's all about clicks. And for me personally, I just um, feel that if what I say reaches you um, and it, you're good with it, just yeah, just give me a thumbs up. That's it. Nothing, nothing. And then if you feel it could actually benefit somebody else, you know, just share it. Numbers are numbers. There are people fighting for that algorithm and, you know, trampling all over each other, um, which is part of the reason why I wanted to kind of go in um, with a prayer. I like to pray about things before I put them out there. Um, because, yeah, there's so much happening. There's so much happening, but guys, it's it's really it's, it's yeah. We're we're in uh, very worrying times. Keep your faith. Stay prayed up. And you know, remember. We've got to, you just got to be obedient. For real. You have to be. But then, if you do need some guidance, you know, and you're part of a church or you're part of fellowship, um, I feel like at the moment a lot of fellowship is happening online because people are not trusting the churches that they are um, part of because the message isn't really hitting home. Um, it's important that you do find somebody that, you know, comes from a place of truth and is actually versed in the scripture that will help guide you along the way. And that is really important, it's so key. It really is. So listen guys, love it to bits. Signing out on this one. Um, so I'm going to just try and power walk my way back home and stay blessed up man, see you soon.